Hello everyone. For the last couple of weeks, I have been concentrating on getting the house ready, deep cleaning um, and obviously decorating. And I made sure that I cleaned out my fridge. We've really eaten down the food in the fridge and the freezer and cleaned everything out ready for Christmas. And I've just been to Aldi and did a really big pre-Christmas haul. And there's lots of things that I can put in the freezer that we're going to be having at Christmas and things that I can put away. So I thought I'd share my haul with you. I spent £130, which is actually the most I've spent in Aldi for a really long time. So I just want to show you what I got for my money. So starting with the frozen stuff, I've got a couple of these bags of chicken breast fillets. Um, I love having these in the freezer for quick meals. Um, some smoothie fruit for the kids. I got some chicken nuggets. That's just a quick meal. If I need something to have, I just can pull it out of the freezer. I got some minced beef and some meatballs. They are a big favourite in our house. I got a side of salmon and that was a really good price. Um, that was £6.99, um, which I thought was really good. And I will cut that up and I'll be able to make meal or, or some meals with it. So that's really good. Um, I got the beef and this is really this was really good value this was 5 99 and I'm gonna do um, a Mongolian beef with that so that is a brilliant price um, I also got some streaky bacon to have in the um, freezer really ready for Christmas I got a little pizza for my daughter just um, as an after-school treat I got a chicken chow mein to also have in the freezer because I wanted to have sort of a backup side dish that we could use because um, I'm thinking about doing Chinese on Christmas Eve. Um, I got some Wensleydale cheese with a cranberry which is my absolute gorgeous favourite. I love this stuff. I also picked up some 12 eggs. Um, the pulled pork, this is so nice um, with the dinner rolls and it freezes really well so I'm going to pop that one in the freezer. Um, I got the duck and pancakes because I said I'm planning to do a Chinese on Christmas Eve so I'll probably do those. The kids really love duck and pancakes. Um, I got a whole chicken so that I can roast a chicken at the weekend. I got some double cream because I want to do a really nice creamy pasta sauce this week as well. Um, I got some butter, some spread butter, um, and then some, um, it's basically like um, parmesan that you can keep in the fridge, and I do use that in my pasta dishes. I got some squirty cream for the kids. They love having this um, on their hot chocolate, and I'm sure that is something that they'll want on Christmas Eve. I got a couple of the large um, milk, semi-skimmed milk. I got some... They're like um, frube squidgy pouches, so Emily has those in her lunchbox. Got some coconut yogurts and then three packs of the strawberry yogurts, which are my husband's favourite. Got some of the grated cheese, um, a couple of them are mozzarella because I'm doing some pasta dishes this week. I've got a couple of things of <coughs> pot noodles. They're really for my son. He's got some sort of strange obsession with them at the moment, so I just picked up the Aldi ones to see what they were like. Um, some poppadoms pineapple cottage cheese I really like this with salads I got some more light brown sugar because I'm doing lots of baking at the moment so um, I'm getting through this so I got some more got some raisins and from the baking I also picked up some um, milk chocolate chips I got some orange cartons those are for Emily's lunch boxes they do their own sort of version of brunch bars they're okay. I mean, my, my son, to be honest, he just eats so much that I got a couple of packs of those because he's always wanting snacks for school. Um, I got some pasta and I noticed in Aldi they've started doing the macaroni, which is brilliant because we love macaroni. That was only 49p, which I thought was a bargain. I'm guessing there's 500 grams in there, yeah. Um, and that was great. So I picked up a couple of those. I got some mini cookies. Again, this is just sort of snacks. Um, some egg noodles, which will be for the Chinese that I'm doing, um, like I said, on Christmas Eve. Um, I've got a whole wodge of like biscuity treats that the kids, well, they're all things that, you know, the children will have as snacks. Um, I thought I'd try these. Picking blankets, crisps, see what they're like. Some prawn crackers, again, for the Chinese. Onion rings, which are my son's absolute favourite. 
and then I've got this big bag of cheese balls which I think I'm gonna put in the kids Christmas Eve box this year I thought I'd get that for for their box and hopefully they will share it yeah I kind of I don't know do I feel embarrassed about all this it's so difficult I've got a 15 year old almost 15 teenager and he eats so much you wouldn't believe how much he eats he eats tons and tons of fruit and things as well but he does so much sport that he just sort of, i think he probably just burns this all off because he's such a skinny bean pole but anyway he really needs to have lots of snacks that he can eat on the go um between you know all the sporting activities that he does I picked up some wraps, we're really into quesadillas at the moment, so actually that can make a really good cheap meal as well. I've got some of the ancient grains bread, which um, actually my husband really likes that one. I've got some of the dinner rolls, and those are the rolls that I put with the um, pulled pork. Such an easy meal with a bit of salad, really delicious. Um, I got some of the strawberries, strawberries have been a little bit... I don't know they've not been lasting for us recently so I thought well we'll try those some red onions I love these for cooking I get through so many of them some mushrooms I like mushrooms I'm probably the only one in the family that does but I got some more mushrooms they had some cute little Kevin the carrot big thing of carrots that was only 40p um, some of the wonky blueberries and um, spring onions that goes with the beef recipe that I mentioned red grapes again they were wonky but I don't I don't think there's anything wrong with them they're absolutely fine those I love these I love snacking on these little tomatoes the broccoli was on the super savers this week so that was 39p so that was a bargain I'm not sure that we'd get through more of that but if it's still cheaper next week I'll definitely go back and get some more got some bananas tons of bananas apples these were good picked up some of these avocados there's four in there and I would probably eat you know the whole thing and they were £1.15 for four which I thought was really really good also just hidden in there is some satsumas I absolutely love satsumas at the back I've got the diet lemonade just because um I wanted another choice at Christmas that isn't alcohol and the diet cola I get this because I've got a really nice um diet coca-cola chicken recipe which i've shared on my channel before I'll see if i can link it it's a pinch of nom recipe and you don't need to use real coke so i just buy that one i think i can't remember how much that was 20p or something it was a bargain i'll check the price i've got a couple of these korma sauces i haven't actually tried it before it's got all these spices in the top but i thought well, we'll try that because i'm going to cook that chicken um, at the weekend and then obviously that would work well for another meal in the week I've got a salt grinder there just because I'm getting through quite a lot of that compost bags again all the recycling I'm always buying those and some porridge oats now at the moment I'm having these every day I also make flapjacks with them so I'm really getting through those so I picked them up honey hoops for my son dishwasher tablets I do think these are really good and they're the ones you don't have to take the wrapper off so I think they were 2 99 I got some of their well it's kind of like their copy radox but it's 55p so I thought that was really good a couple of things of wine bargain again I think it was 3 99 um I got this um Bally Castle which is like Bailey's and that is actually a present for somebody so um yeah really good value that is really cheap buy but it's just like Bailey's I've got some little cards I think I've said before that my husband's a teacher and he does like to send cards to his um, kids so I, I, I've got some but I thought i will get another pack they were 99p and I just like these they're just some silly Christmas toilet roll I just really liked it it was 1.99 for four and I just thought that they were fun so this is my Mongolian beef recipe and this is so easy. So I just cut the beef steak into small strips and I pop it all into a bag with a quarter of a cup of corn flour and I just mix everything together, make sure that the beef is coated in the corn flour. I then heat some oil in a pan and just brown the beef and just turn it over and just make sure that it's browned and then I just pop it onto a plate while I make the sauce. 
In the pan I just add two teaspoons of minced ginger, but I do use ginger paste, which I just find so much so easy, and then um, a tablespoon of garlic, and I just gently cook that um, in the frying pan just for about 30 seconds. I then add a third cup of soy sauce, a third cup of water, and half a cup of dark brown sugar. And then I just make sure that I boil it and all of the ingredients come together. I then just add the steak back into the sauce and just make sure that I've heated it through and cooked it through and just make sure that it's all lovely and coated in that delicious sauce. Finally, I just add a few chopped spring onions and just mix it in and just literally cook it, cook it for about 30 seconds just to bring everything together. I like serving it with basmati rice and a sprinkling of sesame seeds. It is such an easy meal and if you try it, then let me know. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, then don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.